And this one we're going to find the limit as x approaches here 0 of sine of x times 1 minus cosine x divided by x squared. So first it's going to be the limit as x approaches 0. That part doesn't change. Then you're going to have the sine of x times that 1 minus cosine x. That doesn't change. But in the bottom, it becomes x times x. That's the big difference now. At the next stage, we can separate in things into limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x times that 1 minus cosine x over x. So separate into separate fractions. And then we can close within parentheses if you want. And that's going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x. Each of these limits is well known already. So we're going to have just 1 times 0. Those are the limits. 1 times 0, of course, is 0. And that's the answer. Please be sure to like this video if it's helped you out. And then here's all of the works so you can trace it from first to last steps.